The grounds of a former Edmonton hospital with a dark history are now the site of a major search. An architect is working with the Papas Chase First Nation looking for unmarked graves. Taria Isri reports. Crews are breaking ground at the site of a development project in Englewood. Not to start construction, but to put an end to any questions. After the shock of Kamloops, we thought we better make sure that there aren't any burials that are not recorded. Edmonton architect Gene Dubb bought the land for redevelopment. But before that can begin, he and members of Papa's Chase First Nation want to uncover what may lie beneath. There are no headstones, no signs here, but there are stories. Elders have always said from, from about there to the trees and all the way back, that's where you're going to find the human remains. Dub hired a company to do a ground-penetrating radar scan. It found 11 areas of concern, places where the soil has been disturbed, that are now being dug up. We did it in one-inch layers, and wherever we found something that was suspect, we jumped in the hole and we did it with shovels. For Sheila Dejerlay, the history of the Kamsel Hospital is still raw. We're hearing stories about how they were um, done experiments on or, or fed their own vomit. Like, you know, like, it's, it's, it's a really hard thing to imagine. Former patients of Kamsel and other so-called Indian hospitals across Canada have launched a class action lawsuit against the government, alleging abuse, negligence, forced sterilization. The search team says this is just the first stage. They plan to sift through more areas around a hospital that Indigenous people say harmed instead of healed.